Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Robertina. In case you are new here, so thank you for stopping by, for subscribing, for watching my vlogmas. That means a lot to me. So thank you once again. All right. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys what we eat in a day. It's really simple, and uh, you'll be able to see that. Right now, it's in the morning, and I want to make breakfast at the same time make lunch as well because. I have the kids at home and they are two toddlers they are three years and under and you can imagine the stress that comes with dealing with two kids they need your attention they're asking questions here and there and if you blink something might actually go wrong all right <laughs> yeah so i want to make all the food right now and then we will cook dinner later on in the evening when my husband is back home so he'll be helping out with watching out watching out for the kids all right so right now now I'm making some mandazi and this is just my ingredients I do it really simple sometimes I even just uh, do my own things like I don't follow a recipe I just have at the back of my mind is supposed to have some sugar some eggs some baking soda this time around I did not have eggs so I added the baking powder uh, usually I don't use baking powder when I'm baking when I'm doing uh, mandazi all right so uh this time i used it because i don't have eggs at the moment yeah so i'm mixing up everything and then um we'll get to see how it goes uh shortly So instead of water I used milk and this is actually cold milk yes and you will see how the mandazi turned out I don't know if you use hot or cold milk but this time around I used cold milk So our dough is now ready. I'm just going to cover it under a cling film so that it can raise a little bit. Yeah, and as it does that on the side, I have some water boiling to cook some ugali. I also have some leftover skooma and spinach mix as you have seen right there. Yeah, so that is what we are going to have for lunch. We're going to have the greens with ugali. We'll go out shortly with, uh, with the kids to go look for some avocado or some maziwalala. Kitungu na pele kape. 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 Asante. Yeah, so now our ugali is ready and I'm going to cover it in the foil paper to make sure it stays warm. Remember, I am making this in the morning and the reason I'm doing it in the morning is because I have two toddlers in the house and you know sometimes time just flies. You blink, it's 1 p.m. and you have not made lunch. So I usually like to cook all my food in the morning, especially if it is food that we're going to eat throughout the day when I have the kids around. So the food is ready in the morning. We have snacks, we have fruits, we have everything we need in case anyone gets hungry and you know you're not ready to cook at that particular time. And also another thing is because um, 
After cooking, I get to my laptop and, and phone and start working. And when you get there, you know, time just flies again. Okay, so I'm doing that. Yeah, and it, this is actually a way for storing your food to make sure it stays warm, especially if you do not have uh, a what? A hot pot. I don't have a hot pot. I'm yet to buy one, but that is something that I'm working on slowly. I'm not in a hurry to buy them, yeah, because so far we are doing well, and <laughs> we don't really have uh, much of a problem with hot food and all that. So that is what we do. That is how I keep my food warm. I will also be using this foil paper to store uh, the mandazi that we are going to cook in a in a short while. So stick around up until the end so that you get to see all of that. We also have some uh, laundry motivation towards the end of the video. So be sure to stick around so that you get to see all of that. And if you are new here, thank you for stopping by. Keep watching and leave a comment down below on what you would like to see more on this channel. And I will do my best to create that content for you. Been counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. I've been looking for a way, looking for a way from this town. And you're too far away, you're too far away to help me now. So I'm counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. Cause I need to learn to forget everything that drags me down. I need to forget. So right now uh, I've already done rolling the dough and making some shapes for my mandazi. I try to make it really simple. Yeah, I just make some square shapes, some red, some triangle shapes. Yeah, and however it comes out, that's how I cook it. I don't really mind a lot about the shape, okay? So I'm doing this as I wait for my pan to dry up. It's already on the fire and I'm waiting for it to dry up. As you saw, it had some droplets of water and you know you cannot mix hot oil with water otherwise you're going to have a lot of splashes which might end up causing some accidents in the kitchen and we do not want that all right so right here i am adding my oil and uh i just put enough to make the the mandazi and uh, that's it that's it for now i will i will go right ahead and wait for it to get hot uh, to test if the oil is hot you can put in a wooden spoon if the spoon gets bubbles around it then you know that the oil is hot or you can just drop your one of your dough pieces or if you're making fries in one of your chip fry all right so that's what i'm doing as you can see it's still not very hot so i'm going to wait a little bit longer and once it's ready i will add my uh my my shapes my mandazi shapes inside here and wait for them to start uh cooking i've already made a place where i'm going to put the mandazi as you can see it's the bowl and i've already put the foil paper around there so i will cover them here 
uh, with the foil paper to make sure they stay soft and warm uh, for taking throughout the day because these are these I know despite being for breakfast the ones that will remain will end up being our snacks for throughout the day okay so right there I'm adding the mandazi let's see how they turn out You, I haven't thought about you in a while I haven't thought about that beautiful smile And how it used to make my heart go wild Wild You, you look deep into my eyes And all I could think was why Did I have to fall for you this time? To know how you're gonna treat me I need to know if you can really make me happy I need to know that I won't be lonely I need to know before I call you baby Baby, I need to know before I call you Yeah, so far uh, we are doing well. The mandazi is coming along nicely. We want for it to have that golden brown so then we can know it is ready and we're going to take it out place it in the bowl that i just showed you earlier and then that is how we will know that we have we have breakfast ready okay so i will make sure these are brown as you can see here once they are brown i'll remove them slowly without uh transferring a lot of the oil into the bowl so uh, i'm just using my my frying spoon this is the spoon that i use or is it called a spoon anyway i don't know yeah but that's what i'm using it's the only one that i have in this house so uh do do not worry don't be telling me use this type of spoon or that this is what i have and this is what i'm using and i am unapologetic about it okay so there is there it is our mandazi is ready and it looks really delicious it was also very delicious yeah so I wanted to say what um the other door remember i cut the door in half as i was beginning to roll it it was in half so the other half i covered it with cling film and put it in the fridge to use on a later date it was actually a trial because i did not know if it, if it would spoil but it did not spoil i actually put it in the freezer and then the day i knew that i was going to cook it i went ahead and removed it like uh, maybe <coughs> an hour before so that it could thaw and then after that i cut small shapes it was easier back then it was easier that way actually because i did not have to roll it i just used my knife uh, to cut the because it was frozen cutting it was easy it's like cutting a big chunk of something hard i don't know if you're getting me so i cut small shapes and fried them and the turnout was really just as good so right there is our second round uh, for this uh for this cooking and we will be done
so this is the final look as you can see uh, they are well cooked they are soft and actually they kind of felt like you know how when you bite a cookie and it just melts in your mouth that's how these ones came out so i'm not really sure if i was cooking mandazi or something else but i guess it's all because of how i mixed the ingredients but what matters is that it was delicious number one and secondly it lasted us throughout the day and the kids had a snack to have whenever they felt like you know mom i can't wait for lunchtime let me have a snack let me have some mandazi yeah so that is what happened so uh, i'm also cooking some milk and that is the mboga that we're going to have for lunch uh yeah so we are sorted our meals for breakfast and lunch are sorted and for tea time uh tea time breaks uh, my son is going to have the apple my daughter will have one banana and i will also have one banana it is just the three of us at home and if someone else needs another snack i have some yogurt also as backup so i think I am sorted until it is evening time to, you know, start cooking all over again. I also have some porridge as well. Uh, it's in this thermos. I had made that earlier. So my daughter is actually going to start her breakfast with the porridge. Okay. Lincoln, come on, let her blue band honey. Look at this. Oh, Imani. Uh, uh. What have you done? Ah, uh, uh, look at you. What a mess, Lincoln. Oh, no. Let's say, carpet it down. Ah, Imani. What have you done? Imani, what are you doing? Ini blubani angu mefanya hivi. Yani I blink and you destroy. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Lincoln, this girl is a real chokey. Oh, watch her. Ma. Hmm? Ay, 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 ay. This carpet, this carpet is tying her. Jesus. Mrembo. It's time for you to answer for your crime. What have you done? Hmm? Imani? Ati? Oh. It's no more than blue band in sitting room. Kwanini, look at what she has done. Ah, okay. Look at that. Yes, the playground. Yes. It's a rude bus, eh? Mm -hmm. now we go home and then go back to the playground. So. Mm -hmm. So.
so right now it is in the evening and i want to make some dinner we are going to have this uh, potato stew with some beans and some rice and that is going to be our dinner and that will mark the end of what we had to eat for this particular day all right so thank you for watching if you're still watching i am going to be doing some dishes while the dinner is cooking because i want to leave my sink all clean and tidy i also want to leave my kitchen tidy so that when i wake up tomorrow morning i will have a relaxed morning and able to maneuver the kitchen without a lot of stress you can imagine if you cook in the morning and then you wake up and find a dirty kitchen that is not a very good sight so the sausage over there i want to fry them for my son because he loves sausage yeah right now it's still in the evening as he waits for dinner time he's going to be snacking on some of that sausage okay so i'm going to clear up my sink do some laundry folding and then uh the video will be done so for now i want to thank you all for coming for showing up for watching my video up to this point i do not take it for granted i'm so grateful for you and i pray that you may get blessed in whatever it is that you're seeking god's blessings upon so may he bless you may he keep you may you continue working hard in whatever field it is that you're in if you're a mom keep loving your family and working for your family because at the end of the day it's the love and the hugs and the kisses that you get from your family that matters most than chasing some other unrealizable dreams out there okay so give your time to your family and you know uh the world will reward you with happiness love and security okay so until our next video from now a eh, from me it's goodbye i love you all guys and i'm so grateful for your support it means a lot to me and i couldn't be here without you guys so thank you so very much and god bless you from here till eternity bye bye